They sure don't. Here, live in Portland, Oregon, over 90 days of sustained Black Lives Matter protests. It's a dumpster fire barricade in the road near the police union building. So I'm gonna head back over. There's a couple different barricades and stuff. Looks like dumps, dumpster fires. Uh, this march left pretty late. There was a, a lockdown outside the mayor's house. So you can see the police down the road. Unclear if that's a riot van. Unclear if that's just a one-off officer. Maybe it's the LRAD, maybe it's a riot van, not sure. People haven't been here for very long. So it seems like maybe that was just a one-off officer. So here on the sidewalk, you can see people put up some new spray paint. There's a delete the police. Uh, it says F fascist house of liars. You can see, I think a lot of that is new uh, graffiti just in the last couple minutes. Uh, there's a couple barricades. So it looks like that one burned through already. So let me know where you're watching from. Uh, it's pretty late, I think it's approaching 12.30. 12.30 uh, local time. Uh, there was a vigil event, a uh, vigil for Emmett Till. Uh, was murdered 1957 if I recall so there was a, a vigil for Emmett Till at a park nearby and uh, people decided to march here so came here uh, and the march just got here not very long ago maybe 10 minutes ago uh, the police union building the PPA uh, we just heard a, it looks like a couple sirens from probably it just seemed like a one-off cop uh, car and that was about it so there's you can see there's some some dumpsters and uh, vehicles this is the location that that one truck tried to blow through the crowd and by the grace of everything didn't uh, didn't kill somebody that day guy never got brought up on charges so um, that's definitely why, and it's common for normal, even permitted marches, that you would have uh, marshals. So a lot of time at, at the Black Lives Matter marches here, you'll have people in bikes or cones or, you know, standing at the side of the road. Make people don't accidentally or, you know, purposefully like that guy tried to blow through the crowd. This was that location. Uh, he tried to go through the crowd and, like, he, he would have, you know... Hater killed somebody and he, he plowed through that fence 
and uh, I was only 30 feet away. Shot that fence on this road, actually. It, it shot down that road about 250 feet, 300, maybe about 250 feet, 300 at the most. And I quick went live. I wasn't live at the time, and I went all the way down there, and it was about where that building on the right is in the middle of the road. He just, you know, boom, uh, hit that motorcycle. And, it, and that's why... A lot of time people will do barricades, uh, you know, as a protective. Um, so in a permitted march, you know, that means people in vests and, uh, and bikes. And, and there's usually that here too. Um, marshals, that type of thing. Um, but this is a more uh, a radical gathering, obviously. So, you know, common, common thing is you have dumpsters or, you know, cones, things like that. Um, and then sometimes um you know they'll light them on fire as well so just a little bit of a context for you know making sure things are in front so that don't hit the crowd is a common thing obviously a flaming dumpster fire not common but it's the same kind of idea um it's probably it's primarily defensive obviously uh, but yeah, there's a lot of uh, vehicle issues whenever the the night protests are here. There's usually people, um, it's Friday night too, people driving around. Uh, last week there were several real suspect cars and the, the next day was, um, next day was the far right uh, gathering and uh, when they organized and they were downtown. So people were real leery that they would maybe come here last week Friday um you know do something with the car cause some trouble so I think people are kind of on guard for that today as well so these are kind of much more hardened barricades for that for that reason so thanks for joining over 90 days of sustained Black Lives Matter protests uh this action I think some people uh it was an Emmett Till vigil um, there's flowers, there was cards, a little bit about Emmett Till's life. I think I took some photos. I don't think I posted them. Uh, I think I took them on the uh, the nicer camera. But uh, there was candles and people gathered. And, uh, and at some point, pretty late, usually these will, you know, go earlier. Um, pretty late, nearing midnight, people, you know, said, hey, you want to march to the police union building? Somebody offered up and the march started it and uh, I think is a mile or two away and got here <laughs> so we heard a little siren but that was about that was about it so dumpster fires going strong doubling back over there So this is an especially tall dumpster, so that's why it's flaming real hard. You can see, uh, it says abolish in spray paint. Oh, sorry. It says uh, abolish and then defund. Uh, got painted over and they put abolish twice. Yeah, so this, this is real flaming over here. Uh, this is middle of the streets, not buy anything. This is a, uh, so you can you can hear, can see some uh, some lights. Could be some truck lights. So this is going pretty uh, pretty hard. So a new thing that they've been doing is uh, no sirens and like not lights. So I'm kind of keeping an eye out on that today. Oh, so it looks like somebody has actually started a, a real fire by the police union building. Um, sometimes there's like a little tiny piece of trash or cardboard, but this looks like a, a real fire.
So it seems like they immediately called this a riot. Uh, so unlike most times, like this is a this is an actual fire. It looks like a piece of a mattress or something, and it's in front of the door. It's in front of the door. So you want to share this out? Looks like the fire was quickly put out there. So it looks like It looks like they. It looks like they were able to to put the fire out. You can see the fire is out. North Lombard Street and North Campbell Avenue must disperse to the area now. You're ordered to disperse. You can see the. So you can see the. So you can see the uh, fire is out across the street here. So they said one of those guys was under arrest there. It looked like they were manhandling a couple people on Did they say one of you were under arrest, or is that somebody else? No. They, 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 were they, they did pull some. Yeah. They changed their mind. I, they may have grabbed somebody else. Yeah. Well, to you, he said, "Get out of the area, or you're under." And then he kind of grabbed you. I think oh, it was okay. Yeah. I was unsure if whoever that was was arrested. So. They so they arrested a couple people for sure. There was somebody that was next to a vehicle, the 7-Eleven. Uh, there's uh, at least four different fires up there. Three uh, dumpster fires, and there looks like a mattress. So, crossing the street, you can see crosswalk. So, police have retreated from this corner. Looks like they're putting out. Uh, the fire is quickly put out, and the police union bill is in, it was in front of the doors. Um, and then the dumpster fires were pretty hot, so it looks like they're staying away from those. Um, but they did arrest a couple people in this parking lot. Somebody by that car over there. Uh, they said they were under arrest. And then maybe one or two people over here. It was un unclear. So you can see there's, there's some... Some obstacles in the road here, dumpster, it looks like, I, I think these were just put there. Uh, I think there's, I'm unclear if the, that's all press or if that's some um, protesters, but 
people scattered, I think, a block or two away, and they definitely arrested several people. They came pretty quick. Uh, kind of feels like they declared a riot, and maybe they were here like two minutes later. Three minutes later is real quick. So they're set up here in front of the Union Building and then down the street the opposite way, maybe about half a block. So, as you can hear, I think pretty clearly there that uh, they did they did declare a riot uh, fairly quickly. Uh, this is the Portland Police Bureau. To those gathered outside the Portland several, Police Association, several fires, on uh, dumpster fires. This gathering has been declared a riot. All persons near North Lombard Street and North Campbell Avenue must disperse the area. You are ordered to disperse the, Amer the area immediately. Failure to comply with this order may subject you to a citation or arrest and may subject you to the use of tear gas, crowd control agents, and impact munitions. Stop waking everybody up in this goddamn neighborhood, police! Look at A! You live in this neighborhood? I do! And it's them here. that's keeping everybody up, not the fucking protesters! This is the Portland Police Bureau. To those gathered outside the Portland Police Association office on North Lombard Street, this gathering has been declared a riot. All persons near North Lombard Street and North Campbell Avenue must disperse the area. You are ordered to disperse the, Amer the area immediately. Failure to comply with this order may subject you to a citation or arrest and may subject you to the use of tear gas, crowd control agents, and impact munitions. This is the Portland Police There's a lot of officers the there. At the Portland Police Association office on North Lombard Street, this gathering has been declared a riot. All persons near North Lombard Street and North Campbell Avenue must disperse the area. You are ordered to disperse the, Amer the area immediately. Failure to comply with this order may subject you to a citation or arrest and may subject you to the use of tear gas, crowd control agents, and impact munitions. So there's some officers chasing people that direction. I'm going to try to zoom out here quick. Hey dude, I was talking to a member of the press and they said, you know, I got tear gassed on Monday night, so I came out here and did a pretty aggressive But anyway, people move the unit to go file. So, I was thinking of actually putting together a pamphlet this weekend. They say that it's not real. So, so there's people down the street over here, and there's officers across the street here. Yeah, I'm definitely considering it. Okay. I mean, obviously, they have to do something when they like. You can see they're, they are still on top of that individual right there. I live two blocks back. So if we're to go from here all the way to my house on Fenwick, I mean, there, there must have been just a massive spot. 